All right, now we're going to solve this problem. Again, it's an absolute value, so I'm going to add the negative 7 first. So that's going to give me the absolute value of q minus 3 is equal to negative 5. Notice right here at the start that you cannot do this problem because this is saying I'm taking the absolute value of something and I'm getting a negative 5. So I know right here that my answer is empty set. So I'm going to, I can stop my problem. Now if you don't recognize that, you could go ahead and solve the problem, but when you plug it back in, it's not going to work. All right, section 1-6 had to do with solving inequalities and graphing it. You know that the rules for solving inequalities are basically the same as your equal, except for if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to switch the direction of the inequalities. So let's go ahead and do this one. I'm going to add 6 to both sides. That's going to give me 5z is greater than 20. I'm going to divide by 5 and I'm going to get z is greater than 4. When I put this on a number line, I put 4 in the center. I put the number on both sides, so that's a 3 and a 5. It does not have a line underneath it, so it's just greater than, so it doesn't include the 4. So I put a circle on the 4, and I shade it in the direction of the arrow, so I shade that way. So I've solved it, and I've graphed it. All right, over here, this one, I'm going to subtract 57 from both sides. So I have negative 4x is greater than or equal to, there's an equal sign underneath that. So I've got um, 4, let's see, it's a negative 44. Then when I divide, now notice I am dividing by a negative number which means I must switch the direction of my inequality. So when I graph this one, I have 11, I have a 10, I have a 12. There's a line underneath it, so it's a closed circle, and it goes in that direction. Then you're going to combine the inequalities with the absolute values, if you will. So you're putting the two things together. When you see something like this, this is an automatic AND. Remember when you have an AND statement, it means the numbers have to fit in both equations. Well, it looks like you have one equation here, but you actually have two, because that center section goes both with this equation and with this equation. So I have 11 is less than 3x plus 2, and I have 3x plus 2 is less than 20. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides. So I've got a 9 is less than 3x. I'm going to divide by the 3. So I have x is greater than 3. I can change it around and make it look like that. So that's one answer that I have. And then I'm going to solve this one. So I have 3x is less than 18, because I subtracted 2 from both sides. I'm going to divide by 3, and I'm going to get a 6 right there. So there's my other answer. Now remember, this is an AND statement. So I'm looking for the section that these two have in common. So I have a 3 here, open circle. I have a 6 here, open circle. This one goes this way, this one goes this way, so this section right here in the center is what they have in common. If I was going to write that out, I would say x is greater than 3 and x is less than 6. This one, I have the absolute value involved in this, so remember you're going to look at it as, um, as it is, so I have 3x is less than 27. Then you're going to take it, 3x, I'm going to switch the inequality, and I'm going to take the opposite sign. So these are my two equations. Now, to know whether it's a greater than or less than, remember you're going to exaggerate. Less than means it's an and statement. Great or means it's an or statement. This is 
in my original problem, I had less than. So this is an and statement. So when I solve these, I've got an x is less than 9, and I've got x is greater than negative 9. So I'm looking for the area that those two have in common. So I have a negative 9. I have a positive 9. This one goes in that direction. This one goes in this direction. So I'm talking about all the space that's within it. All right, that kind of sums up the chapter. Make sure you look at your study guide and make sure you do your homework. And we will be going over your homework before you have your test. So on page 55 through 58, 1 through 12 all, 14 through 28 even, and 34 through 70 even.